I've actually slept with this in and I've with it in so um yeah it's the care girl <laughs> Hi you guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I do my three go-to ponytail looks. These are styles that can make you look like you went to go get your hair done in a second because it's so easy to do. My hair is blow dried, but I have also done it on like washed hair. But for the sake of the video, it's just easier to have my hair blow dried because I can go a little bit faster. So let's get started on the first style. You'll need two, well, you can get away with using one braid, but sometimes I like to add in just a little bit more just to make it more full. And if my hair wasn't blow dried and it's a lot more thicker when it's curly, adding hair kind of helps to hide my hair into the braid. The first thing that I do when I take these braids out, so it's gonna be on a rubber band like this and we're about to change that in just a second. Sometimes if I'm in a rush, I'll just have my hair and hook this onto my hair with this rubber band, but if you don't hide it well, you can see it. So it's best to just get rid of it, especially if you're like going out, like you don't want that rubber band to be there and mess up the whole look. So the first thing I do is snip the rubber band off and then you just have your hair like this and like I said, I'm going to add a little bit of hair to this. And you don't have to, you can get away with using just one pack of hair because that does work and I've done that before. I'm just gonna take like half of this one. I'm not even gonna put both of them. Take the first half and just add it. And then you're gonna wanna take a hair tie. I'm just using a regular elastic band Grab it together and put it under. So it is like this and then you see it's like, and then you're gonna stick it through one side like this, stick the other part through and then it comes up like this. And it's exactly how the rubber band was on. Okay, so now you have this. The black is just easier to hide when you have your have it connected to your hair. So that's why I just like to go ahead and put a black one on. You can use a thinner um, elastic band if it's you know better, but this this one works for me. So usually this is the first thing that I do when I get my ponytail. Now you're just gonna wanna put your hair into a ponytail, which is what I'm going to do now. It works anywhere. Your hair doesn't have to be high, low. It could just be wherever you want your ponytail. And I'm gonna do a high one right now. I love a high ponytail because it gives you like an instant facelift. It makes you just look like together. And I just feel like it's a good, quick way to look like somebody. You know what I mean? It looks like you got your hair done and you're ready to go. And you can have any length of hair to do these ponytails. Honestly, if your hair is shorter, it's easier to blend your hair in. And if it's longer, you probably want it to be manageable so it can blend in with the hair. I haven't even put it on and my face is already, you know? I'm gonna add a little extra contour just because I have a ponytail. <laughs> Okay, so this is this first step. Now you see I have all these flyaways. I like to just use hairspray. I might use a little bit of edge control if it's looking still not as slick as I want it. I'm using this alcohol-free hairspray by Pantene. If you guys know any other alcohol-free hairsprays, let me know. And ones that work, because a lot of times alcohol-free hairsprays, they don't hold as well. But you gotta make sacrifices if you want your hair to grow. And you guys know I'm on a journey to grow my hair the middle of my back so alcohol free it is today and I'm just gonna put that on the front where everything is sticking up and on the back because I have flyaways in the back as well this hair 
hairspray does actually work good. It says a three out of five, but it works pretty good. I feel like it does. Okay, so let's start brushing it back. Okay, so I still have a little bit of flyaway, so I'm just going to touch. Y'all don't judge me for my edge brush. It looks a little crazy, but I feel like build up on your edge brush kind of helps. It makes it work better to me. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit, not too much, because I don't want it to make my hair revert back to curly. So I just go in with a very little bit amount to get the very front of my hair to lay down. Okay, so we got our ponytail. I'm just gonna take this part and Wrap it around your ponytail. So here's my hair up here and then here's this. And then I kind of just throw it back. Braid hair is so messy, you guys. It gets everywhere. Look at me. Okay. Already looking like something. So now you're gonna wanna take a piece out and this is to wrap around your um, elastic band. So it looks, you know, that's what kind of makes it look more like you got it done at a salon and it hides the rubber band if it doesn't look that well, so. So I'm gonna take about this much because it's long, it's gonna, it's gonna hide it. And now I'm just gonna take all of this together and the first style that I'm going to do is the braid. Get your three pieces. It takes a little bit longer with this hair, but. Split your hair. If your ponytail is out and it's longer and you're trying to blend it, you want to make sure you have it evenly so it doesn't stick out in the braid. So that's what I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to make sure there's my hair is split in three evenly. And it's kind of hard. <laughs> okay, so all I'm going to do, I'm just going to start braiding down and my hair is mixed in. I don't think I have three equal pieces, but it's still going to work. I'll figure that out at the end. You wouldn't want to start. Okay. Braid. You might have like leftover um, hairs in. If it's like too crazy, I just go in and just kind of snip them and make it a little more even or however you want it. Now you're gonna take this and you're going to, I hope this was enough, <laughs> wrap it around the top of your hair and you're just covering the elastic band on top. first ponytail so this is just the high braid 
And like I said, you could bring it down lower, change, put a part or whatever you want to do to make it cute. But that's how you're going to attach it to your hair. So no matter where you move it on your head, it's going to be the same routine. Now we can move on to the next style. I'm basically going to leave it like this, but I'm just going to um, show you how I get the different look of the next style. For the next ponytail, we're just going to take this braid out. Now I'm just trying to cover the top of my hair and I'm just kind of bringing it over and make sure it's like all shaken out. Okay, so now you're going to need rubber bands. Black rubber bands look the best and you're just gonna take two small rubber bands and I put them together and then we're going to make sure all your hair is covered now we're going to stick it all the hair through you don't even need to wrap it around again. So it's just gonna be those two securing it. And it's gonna look like this. <laughs> Take two more rubber bands doubled, put them together. You could come down as far as you want, but I'm just kind of going off of where I put the first one. So you kind of want it like even spacing in between so they're the same size. Now that everything is done, you're gonna go in and kind of just fluff it up to your liking you could just leave it how it is too you don't have to fluff it up because you know loving it makes it just a little more high fashion i feel like <laughs> and there you have it this is ponytail number two the last ponytail is a little more direction but it's still easy, anyone could do it because I'm not no professional hairstylist or anything, but I kind of taught myself how to do it. I was watching other people and then just kind of did it myself. So I'm just gonna show you how I do it. So let me completely take this ponytail off. So for the next ponytail, you'll need a track of hair like this. So I have three pieces of these. I cut mine. You can actually use one long one and just wrap it all the way up the ponytail. But for me, I like to change the thickness of my ponytail sometimes, so that's why I have them cut. So sometimes I might go in with just two of these just for it to be thin and natural, or I might add some more pieces like this to keep wrapping it up and making it thicker. What you're gonna first wanna do is braid your hair. and you want it to be pretty tight. Now just secure that with a rubber band. Now I'm gonna take my first piece to wrap around and I'm gonna just start with the end. You could either take hair clips or bobby pins. The difference between a hair clip is like, can you guys see that? See how it's like wide and open? You know, a bobby pin is like closed. I like to use bobby pins because I feel like it holds it tighter, but a professional would say to use hair pins, but I'm not a professional and this is what works for me. So my ponytail has never like fallen off or anything. So I feel like this is what works for me. So I don't want to change it. But um, I basically just go in, oops. So I'm just gonna put the bobby pin downwards and then, so it's gonna look like that. Now I'm just taking this bobby pin and connecting it 
to the end of my ponytail. I'm just gonna stick it down into my ponytail. And then I'm gonna start wrapping the hair around my ponytail. Along the way, as I've wrapped some, you're gonna wanna take another bobby pin and just stick it down into your hair and the weave hair. So I just secured it again, and then you wanna continue wrapping. It's okay if you can see the bobby pins right now. Once it's done, you can hide them. And depending on how thick you want it, that's you know, you're gonna wanna stay in one area longer. Me, I'm just gonna kinda do like a, you know, a medium thick ponytail. That's why I'm kinda moving up a little quicker. So after it's on, you're just gonna wanna kinda comb through it and make sure it's all down. So that part is done. As you can see, it's on there. It's secure. Exactly what I was doing to wrap around, I could have just used one full piece, but I just like to do it in sections. I don't know, you could just change up your ponytail for me. So I'm going to take the other piece, start it off with the bobby pin, and then just stick it right on top of the last one, and start going again. Okay, once you're at the top and you're coming to the end, you're going to want to um, also leave the piece out. So I just don't bobby pin it at the top and I just take this piece, the last piece, and I start wrapping it around the lash track and around the hair tie. have a secure ponytail and I can honestly say that this ponytail has never came out you might want to keep some bobby pins on you just in case anything like shifts or anything you could just stick a bobby pin or if a piece starts hanging you could just you know just bobby pin it but for the most part it's up to you to secure it as you're going and it should hold the whole day um, I've actually slept with this in and I've with it in so um, yeah, it's secure, girl. You good. It's secure. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.